Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing on GameCube. And it is Monday. Finally, the weekend is over, I guess. We're, we're at a new week and we've got a bunch of new things to do. Uh, we have some letters to get, but we have pretty much too many letters. So we're going to go and save some of these in the post office, do some chores, talk to some villagers, see what else is up around town. And of course, go to Tom Nook's and see what he has for sale. And also we need to stop by Copper to see what is going on this week. I feel like it's been a little while since we've seen a special character other than Red, of course. So we'll go and ask him about that. But before we get started, I just have to thank the channel members, Xander and Caroline, once again, who are supporting this Let's Play series on this channel as Marvelous Maurice. Thank you so much for your support. It truly helps me focus on making content every single day, which is just really awesome. Uh, so before we do anything, I think we'll get rid of these weeds, but we will go to the post office. Ooh, two new outfits. Did we put those outfits in there? I can't remember. No, I don't think we did. Um, we'll go and save some letters to make some space. So we can actually check our mail. And then also today, we're going to send Lee a... Uh, uh, we're going to send Lee the password for today. So hopefully we'll get some more items from her in the coming days. Uh, we want to save a letter before we do anything. Make some space. We need, we need more imp... Oh, we're going to have to go to another jar, I think. There we go. And we're just going to move over everything, I think, pretty much. Because mostly these are, of course... Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, we'll move these over. What was that one from Kashmir? Was it this one? Two more. You've been a good friend, Mori, but I... <gasps> Kashmir moved out already! Did I not read that before? I don't remember. I don't remember that. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, we might as well mail a letter we've got as well. We've got one letter for the museum. And that will just get the mail sorted right, right in the first couple of minutes of the video. We don't even have to worry about this unless we find more fossils. Um, but that's that. That's that sorted. Okay, let's go and check our mail. <laughs> Uh, we might steal these outfits as well from the town dump. Maybe we could send these to some villagers. We've got the oh, an A shirt and a twinkle shirt. Awesome. And also, we've still got a hold of our spare shovel, so we need to find the gold spot for today. Because we want to try and grow another money tree. And by money tree, I mean shovel tree. It turns into a golden tree, and you can shake a shovel out of it. It's like the easiest golden tool you can get. Oh, 11,480 points in the HRA. Tom Nook. Oh, a grapefruit table. And these should be from the museum. Okay, we haven't got Gwen's letter yet. Uh, maybe we'll receive that a little later. Uh, we can just get rid of these. There we go. Okay, we should be good. Let's check the... Oh, there's another weed. There seems to be an abundance of weeds uh, today. Oh, August 9th, that's today. Hey, it's Gruff. I buried a white knight somewhere in Acre C5. Whoever finds it, keeps it, but you owe me big time. <gasps> C5? It's unlike them to actually give the... Tell you uh, what Acre it's in. Gruff, I'm on the hunt for your white knight. Especially since we just spent so much buying some chess pieces from Red. I feel like we deserve a nice little treat. Wait a minute, are we in Acre? Oh no, B5. Oh, could it be as easy as this? I think it is, check it out, I dug up a white knight, awesome. That just means though, we have to try and find all the rest of the chess pieces now. Pippi, oh Lee, hello. We're going to send you a letter today with a password in it. Whoa, maybe not with that attitude. Hey, wait up a second. What are you going? Bye, gum. I'm making it my business, cutie. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little grin on your face. You're up to something. I can just tell. Whenever you, when you do anything, you better let me know first, okay, cutie? Well, I guess you don't, like, have to, but it sure would be funner for me. Anyway, what's up, cutie? Uh, let's chat. There's no planetarium here in Moriland, is there? I don't think so. This town would be so much cooler if there was one. Don't you think, cutie? Uh, you know it. Don't you think? It would be so cool if you had a huge planetarium, cutie. Listen, Maury, I don't care if you have to sell your house to do it. Just, just build me a planetarium. Um, if only it was that easy. Okay, we're going to go and ditch this, uh chess piece before we lose it or accidentally sell it 
Although we don't have much room up here. This room is quite a small room. Of course, in the previous episode, we uh, we got our first NES game as well, which is really awesome. And you can actually play it. So I think, oh, we, oh I don't think we can put chess pieces on tables. That's a shame. Um, let's just drop it here for now. Oh, cool. It kind of goes with the room quite well. Okay, let's do double check what the fossils we got today. We got an amber. Are you serious? An amber! <laughs> what is happening? We seem to get an amber every day. Okay. Oh, we should probably check for new villagers. Uh, oh, someone's moved near where Buzz lived. Robin. <gasps> Robin. I bet she's from the crew town of our spare memory card. Yay! We finally have oranges. Okay, let's harvest some fruit. Okay, hopefully that means the rest of our trees have grown. Uh, where did we put them? <laughs> I can't remember where we put them. I don't... I can't remember put, where we put them. Okay, but while we're up here, we may as well check what Nook has on offer today. Welcome, do come in, have a look around, feel free to browse, blah 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 blah. Oh, wow! Oh, no, I've just spotted... The golf bag. We won from the camper, so I guess it's not a an exclusive item. Wow, this is cool. What is this? That's a water bird. The price is 1,400 bells. It's a steal at that price. Would you like it? I'll buy it. Awesome. That's really cool. Uh, and of course, we've got the raffle ticket as well. Any new outfit? Should we change our outfit? No, I think we're still liking this one, actually. Um... This is really cool, but I think we'll buy that later. I think we're getting distracted again. Let's go and introduce ourselves to Robin. And also, we'll probably be near Copper, so we can go and see if there are any goings-on in town. But we need to keep our eyes open for more fruit trees. And also, Gwen, what are you doing venturing up this far? Is that because we called you out for being a, a beach penguin? Her e-reader card says that she likes to live north of town. Except she moved into our beach, which I find hilarious. Copper! Good day to you. Well, aren't we a busy little bee buzzing to and fro? Commendable behaviour. Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? Uh, any goings on? You ask about goings on. I have heard that Katrine, the fortune teller, will be in Moriland on August 10th. Oh, so tomorrow. Excellent. At least that's what my partner inside said. He said, I think, and he didn't sound entirely sure about it. I must admit that nothing about Katrina is absolutely certain. Myself, I'm not sure that's even her real name. So suspicious, Copper. Robin! You don't have to shout, I'm right here, la dee da <laughs> And I have delicate ears, so show a little restraint. Pardon? Your name is what? Maury? You simply must be joking! To hear what a sad name. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean it, or at least I didn't mean for you to hear it. My name is Robin. Isn't it a fabulous name? Don't tell me, I know. It's been nice meeting you. La dee da. Well, another grumpy ish villager to move in. Oh, Maury, you're priceless, you know that? You're like a peppy little bag of fun, la dee da. Enough, idle chit chat. Do you need something? Uh, talk to me. Tell me where you're from. Uh, today is August 9th, but according to the lunar calendar, it's July 2nd. What? What do you mean it makes no sense? Are you saying you've got a problem with the lunar calendar? Are you trying to start something? Okay, note to self, never bring up the lunar calendar. <laughs> I've just remembered we planted some fruit trees over here. Did they grow? Yeah! All right. More oranges. Oh, we might not have enough space to get the pears. Okay, we need, we need to go and sell some stuff. Sydney, are you still here? I hope. Wow, there's lots of weeds today. Sydney, good morning. Hmm, hey, what are you doing in a place like this? Do you come here often, wee one? As for me, I'm just having a nice stroll to stay in shape. You know, fitness is important. So, you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, wee one? Give me work. Oh, no. Let's see. No, sorry. Nothing much going on right now, wee one. Ask me later, okay? Okay. 
while we're this end of the map, we might as well go and check the beach. Because Gulliver has a habit of spawning on the beach when there's no other visitors in town. But we might not get lucky today. We might as well head right to the end. I think we should do some... Um... Oh, look at this weed behind the sign. Hiding. I think we should do some fishing or something as well today. But I guess today's just going to be a bit more of a weed picking day, apparently. No, it's going to be a bit more of a relaxed day, I think, because there isn't any visitors. We haven't got any towns to visit. So we're just going to do uh, some chores, speak to the villagers. And go and sell a bunch of stuff to Tom Nook, I think. We've got no more space left. See, this is the golden tree. This is what we're hoping to find when we find the golden spot. We want to be able to it to be in a good location so we can plant the shovel. Okay, we'll have to talk to Snooty in a minute as well. It's sort of late morning, early afternoon, so she should be in a reasonably good mood. I'd like to sell, please. Uh, we've got to get rid of these shirts, these two ambers. Some oranges and the water bird that we don't need because we can just cast. Oh, it's catalogued now, so we'll sell those. Oh, we need to ask turnip prices as well. Uh, nothing more to sell though. Ah, oh, well, is there anything else you wish to sell? No. I see. Well, come talk to me if there's anything I can help you with. Okay, what can I do? Other things? Uh, turnip prices. <laughs> Today I'm buying turnips at 135 bells per turnip. Not too bad. We did lose 6,000 bells worth of turnips by going on the train the other day. Somehow, they got spoiled on the way there. Uh, right, let's talk to Savannah and Snooty. Oh, where's Savannah gone? I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry right now, Sniff. Oh, oh, my mistake. It's Maury, huh? I thought you were going to hit on me or ask me for a favour, Sniff. I seem to be just as popular with the boys and girls alike, you know. Everyone wants to be my friend. Ah, sometimes it's just too much, Sniff. Enough idle chit-chat. Do you need something from me, Sniff? Uh... Yes. Let's give us a job or something. Let me think. No, I'm afraid I've... No, okay, fair enough. Where is Savannah? Oh, must be inside. Makes a nice change. Savannah, I love your house. This is so cool. I, this bird is cool as well. Is this your new custom to come here by here in the afternoon, y'all? I'd almost gotten to the point where if I didn't see you out front, I'd get worried and keep peeping outside. Hey, but don't worry. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm crazy or anything. Promise. So tell me, Maury. What did you want? Uh, give me a job. Thanks for asking. Really, though, I can't think of any work for you. It's nice. Oh, okay. I think we're on a bad luck day. We haven't found anyone that wants to give us a job yet. Gwen. Maury, you seem awfully busy this time. Uh, I can't help but think it's bad for you. You can't keep your nose on the grindstone all of the time. You have to enjoy life more, hun. Truly. Hmm. You're already enjoying life, you say. Wait, who's that? Oh, Lee, what are you doing over here? Hmm, you already joined life, you say? Well, I certainly hope so, hun. Cheers. Enough idle chit-chat. Do you need something from me? Yes, a job, please. I think gardening is a fabulous hobby. Having a hand in nature's masterpieces is rather affirming, I to I'm told. Sadly, it's just not for me, hun. How can I say this? I just don't relish the idea of slopping about in the mud like a swine, you know? That's why I always try to find someone else who can do my gardening for me. Say... You look like a gardener. Could you offer a fine... I could offer a fine reward, you know. How about it? Okay, so Gwen wants some flowers. This is our time to shine. Especially normally when we get that errand. We've already bought the flowers and planted them, so... Okay. Although we've only got four. Pink Cosmos. Yeah, we'll take those. Um, some people in the comments have said we need six flowers. So thank you so much for the tip. Um, we might have to try and get some other flowers from somewhere, but I don't think we've got any in our house anymore. Um, but hopefully, we win some stationery so we can send some letters. If not, we're going to have to come and buy some. Okay, 
Okay, that's all the flowers that we can buy from in here at the moment. Thank you. Do come again. I look forward to seeing you. Okay, Gwen. I don't know if you'll notice because you're not even near your house, but we're going to go and plant some flowers. And we'll make sure they're right next to the house so there's no confusion. Uh, I know this is... Yep, just double check Gwen's house just in case. Okay, we're going to plant here. And here. I feel like four flowers should be enough, to be honest. I think any more is just being greedy, to be honest. There we go. Okay, Gwen. Will you notice, since you haven't even been to your house? Are uh, you still here? Gwen, I just planted some flowers. Maury, you really do talk too much, you know, hun. Enough idle chit-chat. Did you need something from me? The, oh, yes, but look, the flowers. So four is enough. You see, I knew you'd be good at something like this, Maury. I have impeccable people in things. I mean, you just have that down-home farm child feel about you, you know, hun? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I'm not trying to insult you. Actually, I'm impressed. Oh, good. Kind of. Oh. <laughs> Teasing. But one way or another, I do have to thank you. This, t oh, kitsy tile should suffice. Well, I guess we can't complain. It's better than nothing. <laughs> oh, be a lamb and take care not to step on my lovely flowers when you leave. We're not even near your house. Okay, Lily looks like she really wants to talk. Well, hello again if it isn't an encore of Maury. How stupid for me, cutie. Anyway, what's up? Uh, need a favor yet? Oh, let's see. Mm, yep, I think I will ask for your help, cutie. Oh, good. See this videotape? Could you get... Oh, I love these ones where they give you the item already. <laughs> to, uh, to Pippi, yeah. Silly old Pippi forgot it at my house. This is really valuable. So I want to return it in a jiffy. It's an easy little job. Will you do it for me, won't you? Uh, yep, sure. Because that would be super. I'll do it. These ones are easy when you literally get the item. You just have to take it to them. It's so much... Uh, oh, there's a cluster of trees we can't get through. Um, you don't have to worry about running around the town trying to find villagers. Uh, Pippi, where are you? This is Pippi's house, isn't it? Oh, no! Pippi's out and about somewhere. See, look how many flowers we give Tybalt, and he still doesn't recognize it. Hey, good afternoon. I'm absolutely wired today. How about you? You peppy, you jolly? Oh, is that right? Great. All right, cool. Yeah, rad. Killer. Super sweet. Awesome. Keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so what can I do for you? I need work. Let me see. Nope, nothing I can think of. My mind is complete. I see you used me just to get a bunch of flowers, and then now you won't talk to me. Fine. I see how it is. Okay, we're searching for Pippi and we're searching for the glow spot. And I've got a real bad feeling this tree has been stunted. Because I feel like it should be bigger than that by now. Um, oh, Willio, have you seen Pippi? We will talk to you, but we're on kind of a mission. Maybe we should check the pond. And the plaza. Ooh. All right, a fossil. Check it out. Check up a fossil. So we need, we desperately need some uh, some stationery. Oh, we found the money rock first time. Awesome. Are we gonna get like this? Will prove that we've got bad luck today. Well, I would like some confirmation that we can actually get the eighth bell bag out of the money rock because we haven't been able to do it yet and I don't remember if it's a thing or not. Maybe it's not a thing. Or maybe you can only do it on when you're having really good luck uh, when you've got from Katrina. So we might be able to test that out uh, tomorrow when Katrina comes to town. Okay, so that solves that mystery, but where is the, uh, where's the golden spot? 
Pippi! Didn't expect to see you here. Ah, Konnichiwa! Not bad, eh? I've been studying Japanese recently, little hair. Cool, huh? Mori, if you ever want to study with me, you just say the word, okay? So, what's going on? Oh, you've been actually quite nice to us today. I've got a delivery for you. A videotape. I don't want to know what's on it. <laughs> is that, uh, excuse me, but is that my videotape? Why in the world do you have it, little hair? Oh, duh, so that's what it's all about. Lee asked you to return it to me, huh? Wow, that's like so helpful. Thanks a ton, little hair. What do you think? Is some furniture? Oh, maybe we've not got the bad luck. When you say you're going to do something, you just go right ahead and do it. I'm glad to know that, little hair. What did we get? A folding chair. We still appreciate it. Oh, Belle. Hey, wait up a second. <laughs> Where are you going? Bye, come and make it in my business. Everyone wants to know what we're up to today. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little grin on your face? You're up to something, I can just tell. When you do anything, you better let me know first, okay, Cuddles? Well, I guess you don't have to, but it sure would be funner for me. Anyway, what's up, Cuddles? Uh, can I help out? <gasps> How come you always show up when I've got nothing for you to do, Maury? Do you plan it that way? Apparently so. <laughs> okay, maybe we could do a spot of fishing. Um, is this the... There we go. We haven't done a bit of any fishing in a few days, so we might as well do so Oh, if I didn't scare them. I swear that's all I do is scare the fish away. And of course it's a sea bass. I call it a sea bass. Sea bass. Oh, there's a weed hiding behind the tree. Oh, what's that? A little bug on the tree. Don't recognize that. Okay, we're gonna catch some critters. Wow, it's a jewel beetle, it's gorgeous. I wonder how much I can get for it. I don't think you're gonna find out because we probably donate it to the museum. Any more bugs? I mean, we've seen a few dragonflies flying around, but they're quite, they're quite hard to catch. Oh, Willio, sorry about that. I ran into you. Hey, how's it going? Everything going smoothly for you, Bizarre? Oh, really? Great. That's music to my ears, Bizarre. Seriously. Sounds sarcastic much? <laughs> Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So what is it, Bizarre? Care to chat? What's that? That thing you're holding? Is that a jewel beetle? I've never seen one before. Wow, I don't even see it in my encyclopedia. Is it rare? Uh, that's right, it's rare. I knew it! Alright, Maury, I want to give you to give it to me. Just tell me what you want. Ooh. How much do we reckon we'll get? Money? You, you're so cool! Here you go, 560 bells. Oh, that's not a lot. It's all I've got on me. But you don't mind, right? Nah, that's okay. We'll just find another one to donate. Walt Jr. No, I don't want any. I'm telling you for the last time, you foul creature. Go away. Oh, wait. It's just you. I thought it was another one of those weirdos handing out tissues. Grr. Yeah, so. What do you want? <laughs> uh, talk to me. Have you checked the bulletin board to see when the meteor shower is? Everyone will be at the lake that night. You only get to see a site like that once a year around here, so don't miss the opportunity. Besides, it's fun to get out and enjoy a clear summer evening every once in a while. Yeah, I can't wait for that. So we've got Katrina tomorrow, and then in a couple of days after that, we've got the meteor shower, which is going to be really exciting. Uh, oh, we haven't harvested our pears yet. We probably should keep some pears, actually, in case the villagers ask for them. Uh, but we also could plant some more, actually. Okay, let's go and see Cube. Oh, wait, here is a dragonfly. Oh, we got it first time! I caught a darn dragonfly. Darn, I'm good. Cube, are you home? Q. 
cube. Hey, Maury, did you eat lunch yet? I just stuffed my belly full of grub and I'm feeling it. I doubt I'll be moving much for a while, dude. Yeah, so, what do you need me for, dude? Need help. Wow, it's really weird that you just say that now. See, Gruff was just here chilling, dude. Was he? Huh? What? Where am I? Did you just say something? Well, that was a long pause, Keith. What are you, what are you doing? Did I? What, what was I saying? Oh, yes, right. Oh, poor Cube. It's so... Oh, such a delight. Oh, yeah, right. That's it. Gruff went home and completely forgot this picture book. There's no way I'm going to remember to do this. So, Maury, would you drop it off for me? Sure. Good luck, dude. Oh, it's so forgetful. Okay, we'll go ahead straight to Gruff's house and do that, actually. Um, so this is where Kashmir was living, wasn't it? Was it there? Oh, it might have been here, actually. Oh, I've just found a... Uh, fossil, hopefully. Hey, I dug up a fossil. So we've got all the fossils we need. We just need some paper. We might have to buy some. Normally, there's so many. Maybe Gruff will give us some paper. Uh, no, I don't want any, I'm telling you. Oh, everyone's getting weirded out. It's about lunchtime. I think everyone's just in a weird mood. Yeah, so what do you want? I've got a delivery, actually. Your picture book. I forgot something, slander. What are you talking about? Hey, what the? That's my picture book. Say, what? I left it at Cube's place. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find the darn thing. Sorry to put you out like that, Maury. Since I certainly don't want to owe you one, you can have this outfit. I've never even as much as tried it on. It's brand new. Oh, we needed stationery. I guess I was wrong for thinking you were such a big dweeb. Yeah, I'm a big dweeb. MVP shirt. That brought us so much luck when we visited another town. Uh, we might have to... Let's just go and buy some paper. Are these weeds springing up as we're playing? Uh, oh, there's our other orange tree. Might as well leave some oranges on there, I think. Okay, Nook, we're going to sell a few bits and buy some stationery, I think. Welcome, do come in. We're going to keep one pair, though. Uh, just in case. And we don't need the folding chair or the tile. Yeah, we'll take that. That'll be more than enough to trade in for some paper. Thank you. And we'll just take this one, I think. That's dragon paper. Awesome. It's quite a bargain. Yep, we'll take it. And then before we do anything, we're going to put the fossils in the letters to send those. And then we're going to write Lee's password in a letter. So we've already sent off one to the museum. So we only, only need to do... So we'll just grab these fossils. And we'll write a letter to Lee. There we go. To Lee, here is your password. Hopefully we got it right. It's, again, it's really confusing with the O's and zeros. Um, and uppercase and lowercase, but hopefully that's right. And we'll send that off as well. We may as well tidy up our inventory a little bit. Get our golden shovel back. We still need to find the, the gold, golden spot. Where is it? Nate! I forgot you moved here. Maury, it seems like you normally come and talk to me about... This time, right, Yawn? Hey, no, it's not like I mind or anything, Yawn. Knock yourself out. So, what do you need? Um, need any help? Oh, yeah, I could really use a hand right now. Can you take this videotape to Kashmir for me? You know why I can't do it myself? Because Kashmir doesn't live in Moriland anymore. I don't get <laughs> out much, but I know you travel a lot, and I was hoping you could help me out. What do you say? Consider it done. Oh, no. Well, that's the score. Get on it. Oh, really? Really? We have to travel to another town just to deliver something? I mean, I had no idea that was a thing. I thought you took it to the wishing well and just was like, I'm sorry I can't deliver this. 
and then they just took it. But I guess we might have to have to go there. Woolio, please help me search for the golden spot. It appears to be nowhere. <laughs> okay, let's go and empty these letters in the post office. Oh, what's this? Another fossil! And that is our cherry tree, I believe, that is growing. So that's really good, as long as it doesn't get stunted. I'm not sure if the trees get stunted in this game. Ah, oh, there it is. Check it out, I dug up a thousand bells. Just in time to put our shovel in there. Oh wait, have to be facing it exactly. There we go, it should, should grow there. But maybe it's too close to the water, but it would be nice if it grew there. Imagine replacing the entire town with golden trees. <laughs> Welcome, how can I help you? We've got a couple of letters to mail. Got two for the museum. Ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Yes, please. So now we've sent three in total today. Thought we were done with the post office, but apparently not. Uh, and would you like to mail more? Yes, we've got to mail Lee's password. Ah, yes, I see. Rain, sleet, snow or hail will deliver what you mail. Thank you. Cool, thank you. So we get to see Pete. One day we will try and come on when Pete is supposedly delivering mail. And we should bump into him. Uh, is there any more at the dump? No, nothing else at the dump is there. Uh, just check we haven't received any mail. Oh, we have received mail. Oh, no. Oh no, from Gwen. Look, I give up. I tried my best to understand your note, but I just couldn't do it. Could oh no. That means she didn't understand our password. So that's a shame. Okay, let's go. We may as well head to... To crew and see if we can find Kashmir. The trouble with this is every time you go, I think someone moves out, it looks like. Are you planning on going on a trip, Maury? Yep, I'm taking a trip. Eek, you must be very excited. Please wait here. I'll just be a moment. The next train should be arriving any minute now. So let's get ready for your departure. Now I'm going to save time data for Maury Land to the memory card in slot A. Please wait a moment. I'm now saving town data. Do not turn off the power and do not remove the memory card. Okay, so maybe we'll bump into Blanca on the train instead of Rover. Be nice. Thank you for your patience. Your pre-departure preparations are now complete. And just in time, it looks like the train has just pulled in. Okay, so there isn't much time difference between these two towns, I don't think. So... While we're there, we may as well... There won't be any events on or anything, so while we're there, we may as well go and check out this what the store has in store for us. Take care, farewell, have a nice trip, eek. And also, I've never delivered uh, an item to a villager in another town, so this is really interesting. I wonder if we get any special rewards, or if it's just a... Just a random item. What's it be some stationery? Oh, it's not Rover. Thank you for boarding. We hope your trip is both comfortable and enjoyable. Next stop is Crew. Crew, remember, when we arrive at our destination, please wait until the train comes to a complete stop before standing. Prepare for arrival. Please don't turn off the power or pull out the memory cards. We will try not to. Thank you for waiting. The current local time in crew is 1.56 p.m. on August 9th, 2021. We will be arriving shortly. We hope you enjoy the ride. Eek. Okay. Here comes Blanca again. With no face. What are we going to do this time? Should we do something really funny? If we can think of anything. Excuse me. Say, haven't we met before? What's the matter? Why are you laughing like that? Your face! 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? It came off again? This is insane. I can't walk around like this. Hey, will you draw another face? Draw a good one this time. Are you saying the last one was bad? Okay. <laughs> we'll try these eyes. They look a little creepy. Um, and maybe we'll just give like a little button nose or something. Um... Or maybe we could give like, yeah, there we go. That's, that seems okay. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Um, and maybe just a big, maybe just, actually we should stay, play it safe and just stick with the normal mouth, I think. Um, okay, it's not too bad. It looks friendly. But I think we should probably give a little tuft of hair. Okay, there we go. Okay, a tuft of hair. See, a, a masterpiece. Okay, it doesn't look too bad once on, okay. Woo, are we all finished? Woo, I feel so much better now and I have to feel and I like, look better too. I wouldn't go that far, Blanca. You're a real lifesaver, thanks so much. Uh, but why? Rats, I tell you all about it, but my stop is coming up. Yes, the next stop is crew. See you. Okay, bye. Okay. Oh, it's not raining today at least. Let's hope Kashmir has all m moved in. Uh, where's Kashmir going to be living is the question. Oh, Robin. <gasps> so Robin didn't move from crew. It's just a coincidence. Okay, Kashmir's living over by Coco. Oh, a piece of furniture! A lady palm. And what's the outfit? A dragon suit. Okay. Buzz, how are you doing? Long time no see. No, I don't want any. I'm telling you for the last time, you foul creature. Buzz, it's me. Relax. Oh, it's just you. I thought it was another one of those weirdos handing out tissues, Captain. So then, Captain, why are you here? What's going on? I, went, I thought we were going to still be friends. Hey, Maury, do you always have to run when you go somewhere? Yep. I thought so. You're always zooming around wherever I see you. But I should warn you, when you're trying to catch a fish or an insect, you got to move quietly or else you'll scare it away before you can nab it, Captain. I know, that's a lesson I have yet to learn. Kashmir! It's me, Kashmir! What's with the weird look, Maury? Oh, didn't I tell you? I recently moved here to crew, you see. How fortunate for you, mm, baby. By the by, did you need something? Yeah, you forgot this. I came all the way here just to deliver this precious videotape. Oh, Maury, that's my videotape. What, what are you doing with it? I swear, Nate has no sense of responsibility, baby. Really? Making you do all this work? I'm sorry to impose on you like this, baby. Maury, I want you to have my carpet. Every time you walk on it, you can think of me. Wait, that didn't come out right. Well, you know what I mean. Thank you. I hope it's a cool carpet. Maury, you do excellent work. I'll keep you in mind next time I have some menial task. A stone tile, which we've already got. Okay, is there anyone in town today? How do we get over to the police station? Um, trying to avoid some animals because you don't want them to move. We'd quite like Gonzo to move. Ah, oh, Gonzo's happy. We'd quite like Gonzo to move into Moriland, but I don't know if we'll get that lucky. Good day to you. Well, aren't we a busy little bee? Yep, we certainly are. Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? Any goings on in this town? I can officially report that Sahara is within the borders of crew for the duration of today. Based on the application for permission to operate as a door-to-door -door marketer that Sahara submitted, I would hypothesize that she would be somewhere near Acre F2 at this time of day. F2? Oh, so just below us. Maybe we can just trade in the carpet that um we just got from Kashmir. Where is she? I don't see her. There. I came from far away. I wish to sell carpets. You'll give me a carpet and some money. I'll give you a carpet. A very exotic carpet. It's called a trade-in. What do you think? You want a carpet? Sure. 
Oh, you'd be like, a, you'd like a trade-in. You're very lucky. I will sell you a sidewalk. You give me any carpet and 3,000 bells. Can you do this? That's fine. Oh, good, good. Which carpet do you want to give me? Uh, the one we just got from Kashmir. Thank you. You'll give me this carpet. I'll take your money. This is a trade-in. I'll give you this. <laughs> nice and straightforward. I like it. That's a sidewalk. Take care of it. It's very rare. I like the carpet you gave me. We should do a trade-in again sometime soon. I will wait for you. Thanks. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, we need to head up to the shop. While we're here, we may as well check out what's available in the store. Oh, where, how do we get over? It's so confusing coming to another town because you kind of forget the layout of everything. Avoid the pigs. Okay, so... Oh, more pairs. I guess we could also come here and get the NES games if we wanted to as well. Okay, nice big shop. Welcome, do come in, have a look around. Thank you, Tom Nook. Nothing that we need here, though. Welcome, the second floor is home to our clothing and furniture departments. Uh, ooh, another bonsai. Any cool shirts? No, what is this? This is really cool. Does an exotic chest interest you? It certainly does. We offer that item for 1800 bells. A good price, yes. Would you like to purchase? Yes, please. That comes to 1800 bells. And here's a raffle ticket for your purchase. The raffle ticket is only good for this month's drawing, so don't forget. Thank you. This is really interesting as well. Does a tea vase interest you? We offer that item 2004. Whoa, that's a bit pricey, actually. We need to be saving money to pay off our debts. Um, we've already got one of these as well, exotic table. Um, we are looking for the modern wallpaper. You seem to have an eye on your... Sh oh, no, thanks. No, no, no. Uh, a s no, with a stately wall. No, thanks. We want a modern wall, I believe, we still need. A modern wall? No way! Uh, no, let, no thanks, but we will buy it. Yes, we'll buy it, thank you. Click five of those, a chance of winning a nice prize. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that pretty much is all we need to do here. We came here just to deliver an item to Kashmir that they left but then we we made use of Sahara and also the shop we so we have no other reason to stay here we may as well head back to Moriland yep we're leaving that's a shame it feels like you only just got here well just give me a moment okay okay the next train should be arriving any minute now so let's get you ready for departure now I'm going to save town data for crew to the merry card in slot B please wait a moment I'm saving town data. Do not turn off the power and do not remove the memory card. Thank you for your patience. Your pre-departure preparations are now complete. And just in time, it looks like the train is pulling in. Okay, it's almost certainly going to be Rover this time. Here we go. Wonder if Rover will pretend like he doesn't know us when really he does know us. Take care, farewell, have a nice trip. Eek! Thank you, Porter. I'll see you when I get back to Morrilands. <laughs> bye bye. Wow, this town has come in handy more than I thought. Um, don't worry, I am in the process of trying to buy more memory cards. Uh, hopefully, we can get. As many as we can and visit a whole bunch of different towns. 
Thank you for boarding. We hope your trip is both comfortable and enjoyable. Next stop is Moriland. Moriland! Remember, when we arrive at our destination, please wait until the train comes to a complete stop before standing. Preparing for arrival. Please don't turn off the power or pull out the memory card. Thank you for waiting. The current local time in Moriland is 1.06pm on August 9th, 2021. We'll be arriving shortly. We hope you enjoyed the ride. Eek. Okay. I wonder if... I don't I don't suppose we can ever talk to Joan on the train. Is it? She just sits there the whole time. <laughs> Hello, Rover. Fancy seeing you here. Hey, whoa, unbelievable. You again, Maury. Hi. Well, if it isn't the wild whisker twister, don't you think it's weird us bumping into each other? Leave me alone. What? What in the world are you talking about? I think I'm following you around or something? I'm not a stalking you, Maury. What? Are you completely insane? What? That would be so creepy. So anyway, are you coming from crew? How was it? It was boring. Well, places can't be exciting all the time. Anyway, I have a feeling you spice it up. So, you been busy? Actually, you're looking sort of flushed in the face. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, delivering presents. Oh, we're about to pull into Moriland Station. Time flies when you're rapping with a friend. I have a feeling you better keep an eye out when, when any crew residents come to visit later. Um, I, they're not going to come and visit, I don't think. We might do it just to upgrade our shop, but... We haven't decided. Porter. Moriland, now arriving in Moriland. Welcome home, Mori. Thank you. Okay, so we finally got a modern wall. Which is really awesome. Um, modern wall. Although I do like the library wall. Is that a, oh, I, it makes the room look a little bigger actually. Uh, I think we're going to leave a pair up here as well. Um, okay, we need to find a place for. Actually, we also got the chest, didn't we? It would be perfect to go here. Can we put things in? Oh, no, that's a shame. Um, we filled that one up so we can start putting ones in here. Uh, add an item. Another Sahara carpet. And the rest of the things we can pretty much sell, I believe. The library wall's cool, but we don't really need it. Uh, oh, well, we may as well set this up for tomorrow, actually. And put the fossil inside. And then while we're here, we're just going to dump these down here. I suppose we should pay off some of our debt, shouldn't we? And we can also tidy up some space in here. <laughs> and also, we can get rid of this golf bag now because we know that's not a camping item. Uh, oh, how much have we got? 60, 100. Okay, that should be enough for now. Okay, we're going to go and pay off the debt first. Well, not pay it off, but pay a portion off. Every time I hit the shuffle with the door, I'm going to have to start not carrying the shovel around. Welcome, how can I help you? Deposit, please. I see, so you wanted to pay off your debt to Mr. Nook. You still owe 755,000 bells. Um, we can do 100 and... We get it down to a... Oh, we might as well, yeah, we might as well leave it. Get it below 600,000. We would have been so screwed if it wasn't for the turnip prices the other day. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, I think everything else we don't really need. So maybe we can just talk to some villagers now. Pippi, don't go inside! Okay, we'll talk to Gruff instead. Is Gruff still here? 
You're just never ending fountain of energy, aren't you, Blur? Hey, why are you even talking to me? Uh, need any help? What well, good timing, I... No, I already took care of that. What a shame. I guess there's nothing I need after all. Okay. That's okay. Maybe talk to Ellie. She's normally really sweet and has always got something for us. Hey, nice afternoon, isn't it, Maury? Let's see. Right now it's 1 p.m., right? He, you silly old goose. Did you maybe oversleep? No, we've been up and about all around several times. That's not healthy, you know. You should wake up at a more reasonable hour, wee one. So, you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, wee one? I want a job. Oh, perfect timing. I lent a picture book to Nate the other day, but now I need it back. I've asked Nate to return it, but I'm sick of waiting and I don't have time to get it myself. I hate to ask this, but is there any way you can go and pick it up for me, wee one? I'll handle it. I know it's a lot of work, but I'm counting on you, wee one. Okay, hopefully Nate's at home. Uh, we haven't seen Sav... Oh, we did see Savannah, didn't we? Yeah. Savannah's normally out. I was going to say, she's normally out and about. Oh, no. Nate. Oh, I thought... It's a basketball. I thought Nate was <laughs> below the cliff. Oh, aimlessly staring out the window again, Nate. Hey, yawn. So, what do you need? Um, I'm picking up. Here's Ellie's picture book. So, think you could swing by Ellie's place for me? I'm counting on you. No joke. Well, that about sums it up. I'm counting on you. Oh, wow. Oh, we need a fan. That's really cool. Okay, we're heading back to Ellie. Are you still outside? Yes, you're still outside. Hello. So tell me, Maury, what did you want, wee one? Delivery, I've got your picture book. Wow, you actually got my picture book back. I'm so glad I asked you to do this for me, wee one. So, I have a little reward for you. It's some stationery, finally. Now we don't need it, we finally got some. Thank you, Ellie, we'll use that tomorrow. You know, I sure hope you can count on you whenever I need help in the future, wee one. What did we get? Oh, lacy paper. Awesome. So I think that's probably a good place to round up. We'll just double check the bulletin board. There's nothing else on here, is there? Nope, we've got the ivory pa piano and we've got the white knight. Okay, cool. But we we did a few little, little bits and pieces today. Nothing too much because there was no one in town. But we did do a few jobs. We got a few items that we needed. Nice exotic chest. And, of course, the white knight. That was a really lucky find. Um... Yeah, we, we visited crew to return Kashmir's videotape, I think it was. Um, so, never done that before, so that was quite nice. Uh, you have to excuse uh, Blanca's face. I'm not a very good artist. But yeah, so thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. I really appreciate you joining me in this journey. Please let me know if you have any feedback, other things you'd like to see, what you primarily like to see in episodes, and, and, just, and just things like that. So we'll probably catch Katrina tomorrow, and then we've got the meteor shower as well to look forward to. So stick around for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!